Hello everyone, this is Dragnaut I'm back with episode 8 of Hellsport Hogwarts in Minecraft. And as you can see behind me, we do have the start of the long gallery, which we did start in episode 7. And so last episode, if you have not watched it, I'll, there will be a link in the top right hand corner and in the description. We did finish off Ravenclaw Tower, we did add this final roof, and my gosh, it did add a lot of height to Hogwarts, and it does look really, really cool. And we did make a start onto the long gallery, which is what we will be completing in this episode. And hopefully that will allow us to move on to the bell towers next episode. And obviously the bell towers do add a lot of height as well. And some background information on the long gallery. You can go and skip this if you want. But the long gallery does kind of remain identical for all eight films. It is mainly these are seven windows that just go along here. And obviously it is based on Durham Cathedral, which is in England. And as you can see, the resemblance is very similar between the Hogwarts model on the left and the Durham Cathedral on the right. And of course, to be honest, this entire area is based off Durham Cathedral, with, I guess, with absence to the Violet Entrance, which is very, very different. But obviously, this area around here shares a great resemblance, with the only difference being the kind of the size of the windows, and of course, this extra turret, which is here, which was added in in later films. However, without further ado, let's get straight into it. And so the first thing you are going to do is just build this roof area. And what I love about the Long Gallery is how easily you add a lot of stuff to Hogwarts, since it is a very simple design that does get a lot of stuff done and so the first thing we're going to do is just build a two long line and you will continue this all the way down until you come to the end of this line which we built last episode and that will be just right here and then this kind of links into why we did not build this all the way down that's because the roof does come up just to kind of intercept it and so we will build a three by well whatever length this is I believe it is 41 blocks that's just off the top of my head from what I remember but if you did build it correct last episode this should just go all the way down to the end of the line as usual and then you will continue this gradient of one third and then we'll build in another line of three to continue with our gradient of a third of a block and of course as usual just complete this and continue this all the way down until you reach the end of this line along here and then actually what we might need to do before continue with the roof is actually just to bring this centre tower all the way down just to fill in any gaps that might continue so just bring this down until you come in line with this roof along here and just do that all around the tower just bringing its height all the way down and this is of course going to be similar to this side where we do have this gap kind of extending down into this area and so all we need to do is, of course, just fill in all of this area in. You can, of course, use full commands. So I take this coordinate here, slash fill, and take this coordinate right there, and then over to here, and then take this coordinate right here with cut sandstone. Of course, on bedrock, it will be sandstone 2 as the ID of cut sandstone. And that will look just like that. And so we can now continue our gradient of a third. Obviously building kind of L shape to continue the, the third gradient. And you just continue this all the way along, of course, until you do reach the end of the line over there. And then, now that is done, we can kind of start off with the windows along this main area along here. And so what we are going to do is come out three blocks and to start off our first window. And so our first window is kind of squished against the central tower. However, what we will do is build up three blocks just like so and cap it off with like that. So it should be a two by three window just in here. And of course, behind it, we are going to build our window blocks. And obviously I am using black stained glass. So obviously go ahead and fill those in behind, just like that. As I said earlier, it is kind of squished against the central tower. And that is just kind of how this window is. And then we can go ahead and grab ourselves some smooth sandstone stairs, and then some sandstone stairs and sandstone slabs. And of course, we need to make this a nice archway. So go ahead and build that in just like that. And then you can go ahead and place a sandstone stair right there and then two sandstone slabs just on top. And you will notice this window is in line with these windows down here. And just like with these windows, how it does come out along here, it does come out in this section as well. So what we will do is build this out here and then build up three more blocks on top, just like so. And using our smooth sandstone slabs just like down here, it will come in just like that. 
and then along here we will place a line of smooth sandstone stairs which are upside down and actually if you do want you can replace these with sandstone stairs just to add some kind of variation with these stairs on top just like that and of course we will be repeating this all the way along here and so what we will do is obviously build out our four area along here and build in our window area and obviously this would have been right here and obviously this block right here is in this area here but since this is squished against the center tower it does not show and so we will build up four blocks just like that on each side and then cap off with a bar and then of course add in our window using our smooth tensor stairs just in here just like that and then adding in our window behind which should be two by three, identical to that window, of course. And then we will add in our sandstone stairs. So one, just like that. It is kind of hard to get in there. So you will have to kind of experiment with how you kind of angle it, but maybe come on top, place it right there, and then another one right here. And then of course, with our sandstone slabs just on top. And then of course, just continue this line of smooth sandstone stairs, just like that. And then of course, adding in this kind of sticky out section that will come in just there with the sandstone with the smooth sandstone stairs on top and obviously this is in line with this window here this sticky out section is in line with this sticky out section here and this sticky out section is in line with this sticky out section and so all you now need to do is just build these all along here and one thing i did not mention in the last episode is you can actually do these with clone commands and so what you can do is place a block here and this is going to be the position of your first coordinate the reason i'm using gold is because it is different and you guys can obviously distinguish it easily and that will be our first coordinate and so that will just go there and then our second coordinate which we'll be taking will be this block right here and that will be just there and the reason that is like that is because if we do build all along this is not essential by the way this is just me explaining as you can see it does encompass all of these blocks in this selection which is why we use which is why we choose these two points along here and so what we do is we will do slash clone ensuring we're looking at our gold block and take our three coordinates right here and then running the same command again we can look at our second pair of coordinates which is a pair of these diamond blocks and since we start at the first coordinate where this gold block is, we need to paste it in where our third corner is going to be, which is where our emerald block is going to go. Obviously, you can obviously look at the block and type in the coordinates. That is kind of annoying to do seven times. And so what we can do is break the emerald block. We will now stand uh, one block below where the emerald block is. So we'll stand right here and run in the command. Instead of using coordinates, we'll just use our squiggles. And these squiggles represent where we are standing right now and so once we load that in we press enter and there we go it got cloned in perfectly and so now that we have all the coordinates loaded in we can go ahead and just delete all of these along here and since obviously you are copying it and pasting it from these blocks along here so right there right there the next place we are going to be um, standing is right here which i think we can agree is where this is going to go right there and so standing on this place here we just run the exact same command we just did and there we go it obviously does paste in absolutely perfectly and so you'll stand here once again running the exact same command voila just like that and what you do is just re repeat this all the way along down the down the way until you reach the end just here I hope that does kind of explain how the clone command works. Obviously, I may do a completely separate tutorial on it just to make sure you guys all know how it works. And then on top of here, what we'll do is we will place a line of cut sandstone. And you'll notice this is at the exact same height as that line over there. And so this will go ahead and just continue all the way down until you come to the end. And as you can probably guess what is coming up, we do have another roof to do. And this roof is the exact same thing. And so it will just come up along here as a nice diagonal identical to this roof here, this roof here, and this roof here. So of course, coming out on all four sides of the central tower. And you'll just continue this up. And oh my gosh, I have just realized I have built this in the wrong place. I meant to build this one block in. Oh no, I'm so sorry, everyone. Um... If you do not want to um, do the effort of moving this, what you can do is just start this roof right on this block here. If you do want to go through the effort of moving it, we can use clone commands. This was an unexpected um, 
thing. I did not expect to do this at all. But luckily, we do have the clone command to make our life slightly easier. This was completely unexpected. I am so, so sorry. And so, what we'll do is place our first block here and take the corners of this block to slash clone and take the corners of this gold block. And so what we need to do is we need to select this entire area. So we'll go all the way along here to this diamond block right here and take this as the corners of our second block. And the only way to move it with the clone command is to paste it somewhere else, delete this and then paste it in again. And so what we'll do is, I guess we'll just take, paste it to this coordinate right here. And so just run the commands while looking at this block. And as you can see, this got pasted all the way up. And then what we can then do is just do the slash fill command, looking at this gold block right here, and then coming along to this diamond block, and then taking the coordinates of here, and then just replace this with air, and that should delete everything. And since we already have pasted this along here, we can do the exact same clone command. So clone this coordinate here, and then our diamond block over here, which should have got pasted in as well. Those three, those two coordinates just there. And since we need to move it one block, instead of placing it in right there, we will paste it in right there on our, where our emerald block is. And so what we can do is just do this command, we just load it in and paste it in just there. And then of course, we obviously need to go ahead and just fill this top paste. Uh, so obviously just go ahead and select it with the full command and just replace it with air, just like that. And there we go, this is now in the correct place. Obviously it was kind of a lot of work, but that was much easier than just building it by hand again. And so in this area, I did forget this, I am so, so sorry. We'll just go ahead and place some cut sandstone slabs along here, just fill in this gap along here. And so now that we are finally in the correct position, and that we can now start our roof. So obviously we can agree that this is the same line as here. And so what we'll do is we'll just go up using our stairs until we do come in line with the center, which is this block here. And of course we will use dark oak slabs along the center, just like that. And then of course this roof is identical. So what we actually can do is just come back down until we come to the same height as our first stair, and that should look just like that. And so what we do need to do is we need to build this all the way along. However, that is a lot of effort, and obviously stairs are a very nasty block to deal with. And you guys guessed it, we can of course use the clone command. So, obviously using the same colour scheme as before, the gold block is our first coordinate, and again, we'll take our diamond block as our second, and we'll place this just up here, just right there. And as you can see, this creates a lovely rectangle, which of course encompasses all of the build. And so we'll take our first coordinate here, so slash clone, and take the three coordinates right here. Do enter, nothing will happen. And then come up to the diamond block and do the exact same command with the three coordinates we just loaded in. Obviously on trial edition, and I believe on Windows 10, I'm not sure, you can just press the up arrow and it will load in the last command. You might have to type it in all again on Xbox, or on other consoles. And so look at the three corners here and press enter, nothing will happen. And that will have selected this entire area in these two commands right here. And so since we selected it from here, we need to paste it in where the emerald block is. But since we're going to be running it with the squiggles, we will place it, we'll just stand right here and then just use in the three squiggles just like so and press enter and boom, there we go. And so all I need to do is just run this exact same command onto every single block. Of course, if you are on console and you do have a type in all of these commands again every time you run it, I believe that's not the truth since I do have a friend who is able to do it like really easily. But of course, if you're on any other con um, edition of Minecraft, you should just be able to do this for the entire thing. And I think we can agree. I mean, I did this in about 20 seconds of talking. There was no cuts in that at all. And there we go. That is the roof now done and that was done extremely quickly and then of course this is basically identical except for the area down here in the transfiguration courtyard but of course this area along here is completely identical and so what you will do is coming down from these stairs here come down to this level here and place three blocks in here and this is where our window frame is going to be and you can go ahead and knock in that window frame just like that and then Exactly the same as the other side, you can go ahead and place in your stairs to kind of create the archway and then you can grab yourself some black stained glass to add in the window behind, just like that. And then coming out, you will do this 
just like that and then come up three blocks just like so and of course round that off with some sandstone stairs and then of course you'll place some upside down stairs just along here just like that and then some cut sandstone just on top and I think we can agree that this is identical to this side and it should be in the relative position exactly the same place and then what we do is we'll build it one more time and then we can just use the clone command to go and clone it all along since we are lazy and it does mean it increases the speed of building Hogwarts and I hope you guys do enjoy the little tips on how to build Hogwarts at a much faster speed since obviously large products can get a bit dull if they do take a long time and so what this does is it just makes it a lot easier to build in a shorter amount of time which kind of increases the kind of satisfaction of building it and then of course we do have our archways along here so you will place your first one just there and then some sandstone slabs on top like that and then of course the same thing along here just like that and then we're there just there with the sandstone slabs on top and of course we can now use the clone command and so we will take our first coordinate which is going to be this gold block along here and then of course our diamond block which will show our second coordinate and we will place this along the roof just there and the reason it is there is because it needs to encompass all the blocks behind so obviously this glass and this ring around here which are all very important and so what we will do it will type slash clone right here run these three coordinates right here of this block and then obviously this block right here just like so and that will select everything just like so and then with all of that loaded in, we will actually have to come in to down here and stand on this emerald block right here. But anyway, we can stand on this block here and run the command and it should clone it in perfectly just like that. And so we will just stand in here and so you can go ahead and fly and then run the command right here and then obviously fly along to here and then just run this along until you come in line with the other side. And so that should all come in line with this side here. And then obviously in all of these areas, you will go ahead and place in our cut sandstone slabs just to fill in these gaps along here. And they will just go ahead and just line up along here. And then obviously since this side is basically identical to the other side, except for this side here being slightly shorter, we can go ahead and just fill on the rest of the roof. And so as you can see, this is going to be our three area along here and then it'll go three and then another three just like that and then two just there, just like that. And so what you will do is of course just continue this all the way until you come to the end of this line. Obviously we can use the fill command so once you have done this one, we can do the fill command to complete the rest. Okay, and so we can now use the full command to slightly speed, speed up the process. And so we can take this coordinate right here. So slash fill this coordinate here. And what we do is we'll just come down to this coordinate right here and take this one here. And then of course, just fill this in with dark oak planks and then run that command. And there we go, it obviously fills in every single one. And so we can take this coordinate as our first coordinate now just like that and then since we want to fill in the entire area we'll take this coordinate right here and so run that pond right there and you can use dark oak planks as well just like that and that will fill in that line there and then of course we can use our last fold command to fill in this area here's the slash fill coordinate there and of course this is a slightly shorter area and then this coordinate right here and then of course dark oak planks as usual and that will fill in those 79 blocks just like that and oh wow I, I did say this did add a lot of build very quickly it does look very very cool as you can see we basically just doubled the length of our hogwarts so far and the reason i am not doing this other side is because this side is slightly different and it is for the transfiguration courtyard which if you're wondering is this courtyard right here with the astronomy tower right there and this does leave us very nicely for the bell tower to do next episode which will add a lot of height just like the central tower except they are slightly shorter and a slightly different design so they are slightly smaller and so that will conclude today's episode and so i hope you guys did enjoy of course if you did get stuck anywhere 
There will, there is obviously support in my Discord server. There is a link in the description. And of course, make sure to subscribe if you did enjoy any R foreign tutorial. So you will never miss an upload. And if you did really enjoy the video and you would like to support the series, there is my Patreon in the description and you will receive exclusive perks and you will get your name in my main Hogwarts map. And so thank you guys to all my Patreons at the moment. Thank you guys so, so much. And thank you guys to everyone else. Thank you guys very much for watching. And I will see you guys all in the next episode.